After 20 years of researching Islam, you come with this. Okay, let's deal with one one by one. Spirits of God hovered over the uh, hovered over after the God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, no problem. If, if it's that's meant to be God, no problem. Let's go to Zechariah's in Old Testament, chapter 6, verse 5. There are four spirits. So are there seven gods now? Because the word in, uh, in Hebrew is Ruach. And you wouldn't know about Hebrew because look, I, I, I think not only do you not know Arabic, but you don't know Hebrew and you're making a big mistake by trying to interpret the, the biblical text in this way. There's two words for spirits in Hebrew language, Ruach, which is the same as the Arabic and Ruach. The word Ruach is here in, uh, in Zechariah uh, ch chapter 6 verse 5, talking about four spirits. So tell us why, uh, if that is a spirit and it's God, then how comes there's only three gods, so, uh, three persons of God? And, uh, and there isn't seven, for example. Now if we go and check what he claim, that in the Bible, in the book of Zechariah, it says that God has four spirits. And he said, well, four spirit in the book of Zechariah plus the Trinity, now we have seven. And this is a clear proof that this guy is nothing but a scam. Read with me what the Bible says. And by the way, this is additional proof that this guy, he never read the verse. Somebody, he texts him. They are texting each other. They are helping him. They text him. They said, this is what in the Bible it says. Somebody texts him. And mostly this is from Shabir Ali. But this is very stupid claim to say because the verse itself is explaining that those are the angels of God who is going to be in the judgment day. And those angels, when they speak about the four angels, which mean that they will be in all direction of the earth. Four direction of the earth, where no place will not witness the judgment day. Read with me carefully. Does it say really that it says here that those are the four spirit, which are the spirit of God, which means it's God Himself who is four spirit plus the Trinity, or this guy is a liar? So I inspired, sorry, I inquired of the angel who was speaking to me. What are these, my Lord? These what? The spirit and the angel told me these are for the spirit of heaven going out from their station before the Lord of the earth so they are serving the Lord those are not God why you are lying If we go, you know, if we if we go to the book of Matthew, we will find the following. You can go, like, you know, just search for the verses. You will see a Bible study. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet. Call, and they will gather his elect from all from the four winds. This is not about God have four spirit. What a liar! They are just there, you know, they are a bunch of kids. They have no respect to anyone. They are just to bring in this guy, just to insult him and to make fun of him. This is Muslims. You see, when I say to you, you know, you people, you say to me, why you are harsh with Muslims? This is who they are. Look at them. This guy, he thought he was going to debate someone who is, you know, like, like supposedly it's a, it's a gentleman. They are laughing and they are, you know, just to intimidate him. So they will claim that they have a great debate and the guy, he never answered them. And the guy, he never answered anything. Everything he said here, you will see how stupid it is. Listen to what he will say next and let us laugh together. He says that, for, that Jesus, this is called the etymology fallacy. That's, you know, he's been referred to as Emmanuel, etc. God is with us. Elijah is also, the word Elijah in the, in the Hebrew language means God is with us. <laughs> we will answer him about Zachariah and we will answer about this this guy he is making fun of David Wood when he is the joke Zach guys Elijah mean God is with us and he was saying to David Wood you don't speak Arabic and you don't speak Hebrew and this is why I say to you guys those people they are always when you debate them they will play the game of you don't speak Arabic do he even speak Hebrew, this idiot who is talking? He remember a few words, and then he will say to us, 
I speak Hebrew. Do you speak Hebrew? I challenge you to say yes. Now, let us see how we speak what he said. He said, Elijah, the word Elijah, means God is with us. Now, who is, who is the one who taught you that? This is what the word means. You can go and search in two seconds in any website and you will see that Elijah mean Yahweh is God. What God is with us? And you are making fun of David Wood that he didn't speak Hebrew? Obviously, you speak Hebrew very well. Now, let us continue the comedy of this stand-alone joker. Please continue. Elijah mean God is with us. <laughs> So and you wouldn't know about Hebrew because look, I, I I think not only do you not know Arabic, but you don't know Hebrew, and you're making a big mistake by trying to interpret the the biblical text in this way. There's two words for spirit in the Hebrew language: the ruach, which is the same as the Arabic, and the ruach. The word ruach is here in uh, in Zechariah uh, chapter six, verse five, talking about four spirits. So tell us why, uh, if that is a spirit and it's God, then how comes there's only three gods, uh, uh, three persons of God? And uh, and there isn't seven, for example. If, if that makes Jesus God, then Elijah is also a God. <laughs> we'll move on. What else did he say? What else? I am statement. If you look at the New International Version of the Bible, uh, the I am is actually not translated as <laughs> I am, but I will be. And there's a whole discussion on that. Guys, it's translated I will be. <laughs> Abdul, how is going to be translated as I will be? Because if this is what it's been, I will be, it's mean he does not exist. I will be Abdul. First of all, there is many translation and you can pick up whatever you want. You say, I don't accept the translation of Yusuf Ali. I don't accept the translation of this guy. And in a second, you will see he himself, he will make a stupid answer. And then later he will say, uh, I said the translator says so. But actually, he is confirming what the translator said. Listen carefully what he will say next. And to be honest with you, frankly, frankly. I don't even take the Gospel of John to be completely authoritative, and neither do the majority of biblical scholars. Anyway. Who are you to take it or not? Secondly, the majority of my scholars don't take it. Uh, Abdul, listen, why does Abdul he don't take the Bible of John? Muslims don't accept all the Bibles, you liar. Don't tell me we don't. Frankly, I don't really consider. I mean, like, who, who are you? When in fact, in fact, you just confirm why you should not consider the book of John. Why? Listen carefully. 95 AD, it's a long way. He so 95 AD is a long time. This is why he don't accept it. So how you accept the Quran? The Muslim until now, they don't have one manuscript of the Quran. Few years ago, they found a manuscript was a gift even from a priest, not even from the Muslims, an Egyptian priest, which is one page and it's different from the Quran today. The Muslim now, they say to you, if you open the Quran in page number A, that the Quran they have today is according to the recitation of Hafs. And Hafs is a person who exists more than 200 years after Muhammad. Yet, Nobody have a book. It's called the book of Hafs, which means there's no book exist written by the hand of Hafs until now. 200 years after Muhammad is okay. 95 years, as he said, of John. He cannot take it, please. Sorry. I mean, 200 years is okay. 600 years after Jesus, a book came. It's called the Quran. He have no problem with it. As long as you don't accept what people say about Jesus, unless they are close to Jesus' time, then how you accept the Quran, you hypocrite liar? 600 years and there is no single witness to Muhammad and where he received his message. Do you see the hypocrisy? The Quran you have today does not exist. It's just a recitation of somebody claim his name is Hafs. And not only that, the Muslims, I have a videos about it. You can see and you can watch where Hafs was accused by the Muslim that he is a fraud. And here we go. We don't do what the Muslims do. They make a, they make a statement without proving what they say. This is your Islamic website. This is your Muslim books. They are witnessing even Ibn Jawzi, as you see in the screen. Speaking about Hafs ibn Suleiman, who is you, 
you Muslims, all of you, recite his Quran. You don't have other Quran to recite. And he, they say that this man, he is a fabricator. And who is the one saying that? Let me count for you the names of the scholars. Ibn al-Jawzi, al-Bazzaz, Abi Dawood, al-Bukhari, Ahmad, Imam Ahmad, Muslim, wan Nisa'i. They said about him that he is kathab, he is a liar. Who said that? Imam Murrah, Ahmad, Muslim, and Nisa'i. Even Al-Bukhari, he said they left his hadith, which means his hadith is ignored, totally ignored, for he's a liar. Same as As-Sadi. Same as Abdul Rahman ibn Yusuf ibn Kharrash. He said, Kathab matruk on yada'u al-hadith, which means he is a liar fabricator, he fabricates hadith. What is more, even they accuse him that he steal books and he claim that he is the one who wrote it. Even at Daraqani he said that, even Ibn Habban says that. <laughs> and you are telling me, you want to teach that guy to speak Arabic? Here we go, we, we speak Arabic. Come and debate us, coward. Come and debate us. This is why you debate somebody, he don't speak Arabic, so he can... Play the game that you don't speak Arabic, you do not know what you are talking about. After 20 years studying Islam, you say this? <laughs> what a comedy show. So even the Quran they have today is from a fraud person. Continue, please. Let us laugh. Allah says uh, that Allah yusalli ala nabi and he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. There's a difference between yusalli lahu and yusalli ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. And let me spank you with the Arabic, Abdul. Guys, look what he say. Now he is supposedly making fun of David Wood because he doesn't speak Arabic. Look what he will say. This guy is an officially stupid person and the Muslims, they are clapping for him. They don't know what he's going to say next. I knew it. I knew it. And that's why the translators put four, not to the Prophet. See how stupid he is? He just confirmed that Allah, he pray for the Prophet, not to the Prophet. And supposedly now it's fixed. Okay, let us analyze. As long you just admitted that the verse says, Allah pray for the Prophet and Allah, you, be, you must not believe in, the, in one God. Allah pray for the Prophet. He pray to who? After 20 years of researching Islam, you come with this. <laughs> and supposedly now it's better. He, uh, uh, David Wood, please. You, you, are really, you don't know Arabic, you do not know Hebrew. Let me give you a free... I know this will happen. I know this will happen. You don't know Arabic, you do not know. Let me teach you, my friend. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. It is, say, pray for the Prophet. There's a difference between praying on and praying to or praying for. Where it says praying for anyway, Abdul? It says here, Allah. Why you are lying to David Wood? Because you don't speak Arabic. It doesn't say, it doesn't say for. You are a big fat liar. However, as long he said that pray for the prophet, how Allah is one God, but yet he pray for the prophet. He pray for the prophet for who? He pray to who? That is an official stupid answer. I want to hear it again from you, please, please brother. Go ahead. That Allah yusalli ala nabi And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. There's a difference between yusalli lahu and yusalli ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this I was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. Uh, please, yeah, give us. I knew it. And that's why the translators put four, not to the Prophet. Brother, brother, come on, don't be stupid. The translator, he put, he pray for the Prophet. Okay, Allah pray for the Prophet. He pray to who? You are giving the guy... A comedy show to say, and the Muslim, this you see, this is what happened. This is why 
uh, uh, he should not go and be between them. They are there just to bring in him for mockery. Why you are making fun of the guy who doesn't speak Arabic? You, don't sp you, you said you speak Hebrew. You said you want to teach him Hebrew. And you said that Elijah mean God is with us. You donkey. Where are you get this from? And now as long you admitted that Allah, he pray for Muhammad. How in the world Allah, he pray for Muhammad? He pray to who? And the funny, the Muslims, they are so excited saying like, oh, well, you know, yeah, he got him. <laughs> there is a huge difference, brother, between pray for and pray to. He did not pray to, he prayed for. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot. <laughs> Uh, all right, let us see, let us see, continue brother, continue, I really, really like you, I mean, this is really super, super, super uh, 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 DB, I'm, uh, I'm sure the Muslims are so proud of you brother, okay, let us see what he will say next, uh, actually, you know what, let me pause this video, it's getting late here, I'm just having fun with this stupid thing, and he, this guy, in, in less than five minutes, he made tons of mistakes. And I don't know, I will talk about what, and I will talk about what. Look like we will have a nice comedy show for the coming two months. Everything this guy, he said, is a joke. Wait for my coming videos so we can laugh together. Thank you very much, and may the Lord bless you.